Radio 4, we present 30 Minute Theatre. Oh, the runaway train came down the track and she blew. The runaway train came down the track and she blew. The runaway train came down the track, her whistle wide and her throttle black, and she blew. Or six. Better be off. Oh, don't turn the light on, Jack. Stay a while. You'll make me late for the depot. Oh, ten minutes won't make any difference. That's <laughs> what you always say. Jack. <laughs> Come on. Um, Clockwork by Colin Martyr, with Martin Reed as Roebuck. Clockwork. The next train to arrive at Platform 10 will be the 811 to London Bridge. Forty claim states, a sort of entertainment. Roebuck? Hmm? Bannister? We were swapping. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I was looking at that blasted clock. Thirty seconds slow by mine. Why don't they put the damn thing right? I'll try to put it out of your mind. What did you want? Oh, um... Ah, a reversible bloomer. Swap, then. Swap. Boob. Ah, of course. Hmm. Musical. It could be. It is. Look at four down. Andromeda. So hard to be sure. The quality of the telegraph crossword continues to distress. Damn it, Bannister. It's 8.13. 8.13. Oh, I've still got 8.12. Oh, I put mine right by the pits. You mustn't let it become an obsession. Well, it's easy for you to say. They seem to treat these matters with some degree of sensible latitude in life underwriting. My God, you shall come down to accounts one day. Machin watches the clock like a hawk. That man's got it in for me. You oughtn't to take it so personally. Do you know how long this has been going on? Four months. Every single day for four months. Let's just try to change the subject, shall we? Sorry, Bannister. How's Madge? Oh, anxious. Polly's gone down with some sort of a bug. Mm. Oh, forgive me. Which one is Polly? The poodle. Ah. It's easy to remember. The corgis all have names beginning with a C. <laughs> of course. How's June? Oh, you know, this blasted job of hers. Ah. I'm seriously beginning to wonder if the prospective delight of two weeks in Yugoslavia is worth a year of making your own breakfast. <laughs> what on earth possessed her to become a night telephonist, I do not know. Bannister, it's 8.14. 14. 14 bloody minutes past eight. Easy now. It may still come. It is not going to come. I know it isn't. See that chap in the perspex box? Any second now, he's going to put out that blasted announcement. Well, it's only a minute or so late. What did I tell you? This is it. British Rail regret to announce that the 811 to London Bridge is running approximately ten minutes late. Thank you. Damn, Roba. I knew it, I knew it. Forget it, man. Do you hear the way they say... Thank you. At the end, it amounts to a calculated insult. Calm down. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, isn't there? Damn it. It's high time somebody looked into this. I've got a good mind to, to complain. I, I say, steady on, Roebuck. By thunder, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have words. Uh, Roebuck, come back. It's useless. You file. You in there. What do you want? Open up. What's the matter, mate? The 811 to London Bridge. Uh, platform 10, mate. Oi! Where's it? Yes? I want a word with you about the 811 to London Bridge. Well, what about it? It's always ten minutes late, man, every day. That's nothing to do with me. Oh, maybe not. But as a paying customer, I think I warrant an explanation. Look, I'm just platform staff. 
All I do is read out the announcement. Don't you understand? I am trying to lodge a complaint. Well, you can't lodge it here. You'll have to go elsewhere. Don't you take that tone with me. Or, or I'll go and have a word with your station master. <laughs> you want to talk to the invisible man? Uh, be my guest. Up the stairs and past the ticket office. Right then. I will. So long as you leave me alone. I just got myself a bacon sony. Probably gone all greasy the time you've been moaning on. What's your name? Dredge. Mm -hmm. You haven't heard the last of this. Yeah. Oh, um, um, Roback. Oh, Bannister. Leave it alone, Roback. It'll be here any minute. Oh, no. I've got the bit between my teeth now. Where are you going? You're Mr. Train. Well, you're an utter fosspot, Bannister. Well, what about Machin? To hell with Machin. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Fall down, Ada grasps modern confusion over a group of stars. Nine letters. And, uh... hey, come. I don't care what you say. I run a tot ship here. You just do as you're told. Sorry about that. Disciplining a subordinate. Uh, seat. You are the station master? I am. Name's McNaughton. What can I do for you? Ah. My name's Roebuck. I'm a commuter. Well, chop, chop, Mr. Roebuck. Come to the point. I'm a very busy man. It's about your 811 to London Bridge. It's always ten minutes late. Impossible. I wouldn't allow it. It is, though. Not in my station, I assure you. You heard an example of my style just now. Harsh but fair. I don't stand for any sloppiness. Be that as it may, the train is still late. <laughs> Do you suggest that my staff are openly defying me? Oh, I only meant... Your insinuation was perfectly clear. You implied that I'd let the job get on top of me. No, I didn't. Indeed you did. What kind of man do you take me for, Roebuck? Are you trying to make out that I don't show my face in my own station? That I skulk up here in my office all day doing the telegraph crossword puzzle uh, or something? Mm -hmm. Look, all I want to know about is the 811. It's no use trying to retract now. Certain things have been said. I demand the right to refute them. It's been going on long enough, this talk of me having lost my grip. Well, maybe so, but all I'm interested Consider in... Consider my record. Seventh in my year at the Scottish Railway Academy. Five promising years in charge of a Ford platformer in Essex. Does that sound like the sort of man who'd crack up in his first big job? Can't you get it into your head? I have come to complain about the 811 to London Bridge. Good God, man. You seem to be obsessed with this blessed train. Where's your sense of proportion? I simply want to know why it can't get here on time. There's nothing wrong with our London Bridge service. Except it's always late. That's a lie. All right, then. Let's go down to the platform and speak to the announcer. Go down onto the platform? Outside? That's what I said. <laughs> Mr. Roebuck, you suffer from the common misconception that it is part of my job to go mincing off all over the station at the drop of a hat. The truth is that I've got a tight schedule of office affairs to attend to. You don't seem to be doing much now. As a matter of fact, I'm very busy. There's the telephone to answer, papers to be kept in order, oh. uh, pens and pencils to be maintained. Very well. If you won't come, you won't. But I shan't let it stop here. I suppose you think you're going to write to my area controller. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Go ahead. You'll soon see whose side he takes. I intend to. Now, I've wasted long enough here already. Right, then. Just don't imagine you can put the wind up me with idle threats. You're not really going to write, are you? I certainly am. Good day to you. Roebuck, man. Think of my bairns. My wee ones. Let me pass. Reconsider. I beg Never. You. For pity's sake, Roebuck. Let go of my trousers. You don't know what I've been through. Roebuck, when I came here, I conceived this station as a sort of perfect syntax. A pulsing network of lights like a model of the atom. But I was thwarted. Trains ran late, loudspeakers crackled and failed, porters loafed at the trackside, picking their noses. It's not ill will, Roebuck, not wickedness, just that dark, fanatic germ in the human circumstance which infects our every endeavour with contingency. And that's what terrifies me so. Sheer casualty, sheer headlong entropy, I sense it everywhere. Stop babbling, man! It's not their fault. Ordinary men weren't built to gear with the digital clock, the slide rule paradigm. 
vacuum and get your bulges through the reticulated order of the timetable. It's like trying to hammer a tractor tire into shape. Oh, robot. Pull yourself together. <laughs> I won't pretend. I know about the 811. I've known about it for months. Yeah. But it's just a symptom. There's nothing I can do. Nothing anyone can do. We'll soon see about that. Out of my way. I warn you. Beware happenstance. Beware eventuality. Ha! Area controller, indeed. I'm going to the very top with this. Oi! Oh, it's you. What do you want? Where is British Rail's head office? <laughs> Said it would be no good talking about Norton, didn't I? Just answer the question, will you? Euston Square, mate. Mm. And how do I get there? You'll have to go up to Waterloo. Platform five. Or six. What are you going to do? Kick their dustbins over? What time is the next train? About half past-ish. Half past-ish? Dredge. In your peregrinations around this platform, have you ever stopped to peruse those big white boards next to the public telephone? What, the timetables? Yes, of course. And by the way... Timetables, exactly. Look closely at them, and you will see that they are covered with a fine print of figures. 1101, for instance, or 839, or 1437. Do you follow? Yes, but before you go... I on... haven't finished... What you will not see on those boards is presently, or getting on for 22, or about half past ish. Have I made my meaning clear? Perfectly. Now, may I say something? Of course. You're sure? Go ahead. See that train pulling out over there? Hmm? That's the half past. I tried to tell you. Damn. Regret to inform you I'm still unable to send you the money. However, you have my word as a gentleman and a member of the Reform Club. I wonder where the Reform Club is. That you'll get the whole sum next week. Yours, etc. etc. Um, blasted treaties. Uh, Miss Salmon. Yes, Sir Basil. Uh, listen, there's a very important letter in my outray. Bung a stamp on it. Get it out tonight, Raw. Very good. Basil. By the way, what's this whopping great package on my desk? Hmm? It came while you were at lunch, Sir Basil. It's the draft for the new timetable. Ah, better have a thumb through it then, eh? That won't be necessary. Uh, well, they don't want me to scribble a few suggestions in the margin? No, Sir Basil. Just initial the box on the front. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll do it after tea. They'd like it back as soon as... Pu uh, can I help you? Eh? Is this the chairman's office? Yes, but Break you... Staff in, is he? Miss Salmon, who's out there? You can't see him without an appointment. Oh, here, is he? You can't go in there, Sir Basil. A man has just... Aha! Uh -huh. Sir Basil Wagstaff, I presume. Eh, uh, who are you? What do you want? My name is Roebuck. I want a word with you. Sir Basil... Oh, it's all right, Miss Salmon. I'd better deal with this. Uh, did you have to barge your way in here like that? People run out of patience, you know. Well, it's not the proper way to do business with a man in my position. In fact, I don't much approve of people in your line of work at all. What? Accountancy? <laughs> oh, is that what you call it? <laughs> yes, any droll. Look, you'll just have to go back and say I can't pay a penny before next Friday. And tell him next time I'll use the tote. What on earth are you talking about? Hold on. Aren't you from... From whom? Ah. <laughs> Forget it. It's a silly mistake. Take a pew. What can I do for you? Hmm? No, I won't sit down. I've come to you, Wagstaff, because there's something I want sorted out once and for all. Now Don't I... try to fudge, because I'm not in the mood. All right, all right. What's up? Just give me a straight answer to this. Why can't your people get the 811 to London Bridge to run on time? This would be a train we're talking about. Well, of course. Ah, well then. What? Not my province, do you see? What on earth do you mean? Well, I'm more on the sign in letters and initial in boxes side of things. 
But you're the chairman. But you'd only have to pick up the phone. Oh, no, 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 no. Impossible, sorry. What's going on here, Wagstaff? Look, um, have you got a fag, old man? No. No, neither have I. Tried to slip out yesterday morning. That harpy on the desk collared me and sent me back. But isn't she your secretary? Well, yes, officially. What do you mean? Look, are you in charge here, or aren't you? Oh, might as well come clean. I count for nothing round here. I've got a name on the top of the note paper. Are you telling me you're just a... a figurehead? Yes, that's about it. Look, we're both men of the world. See, the B.R. Wallers wanted somebody with a handle. Somebody they could roll out at Paddington to name a new loco and whatnot. Trouble is, my form's not so hot. You know the score, double glazing and all that, one or two brushes with the O.T., Purely because my business methods are simple and direct, I assure you. Oh, this country will never learn to accommodate the maverick. Uh, yes, but I digress. The point is, the Wallers don't trust me not to meddle in the business. That's why they stick fish features out there to keep an eye on me, prune-faced old bag. But why do you stand for it? Oh, no choice, old man. Besides, it's not so bad. Got my sport in life and my telephone. Follow the nags, you see. Oh, by the way, if you get half a chance, stick a few bob on Limerick Lad in the 330 at Pontefract. Would myself, but... I say, couldn't take a bloke of fiver, could you? Listen, Wagstaff, mm? I'm not going to let you get away with this. This train has been ten minutes late every day for four months. You are the chairman of B.R., I demand action. Look, you strike me as a decent cove, and I'd love to help. But it's like I told you. Don't give me all that. Assert yourself, man. I say, steady on. Hold on. Maybe I can help. Hmm? Yes. What? What is it? <laughs> the perfect solution. And it'll be one in the eye for the Wallers. Show them they haven't drawn all the old dog's teeth. Yes, I'll do it. <laughs> what are you doing? This is the new master timetable. Now, what train did you say? The 8.11 to London Bridge, from Wimbledon. Ah, uh, Wimbledon, Wimbledon. Yes, here we are. Right, Roebuck, you have my word that this train will never be late again. There, I just cross out 8.11 and write in 8.21. Problem solved. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I... I... Here, steady on. You... What's wrong? I, I say, about that fiver... You... Oh. Strange fella. Miss Salmon, are you there? Oh! Yes, Sir Basil. But, but, but what on earth's the matter, Miss Salmon? You left the intercom on. What? All those nasty things. You said about me. Oh. Uh, Sir Basil, can't you tell when a woman's in love? Oh, <laughs> God. The train arriving at Platform 9 is the 1746 for Sutton, calling it Wimbledon Chase. South Merton, Morden South, St. Helia, Sutton Common, and Sutton West. Twenty pence. Uh, two tens. Last. Roebuck! Roebuck! There you are. What? Oh, Bannister. Where have you been, Roebuck? It's been such a flap. Trembath from Claims told me Mason was furious. Was he? Hmm. I've had other things to do. Been chasing up this 811 business. Uh, all day, Roebuck? Yes. Why not? You don't think you're letting all this run away with you a little? I mean, it could turn out to be something quite trivial. I, I, I don't know. The driver can't get out of bed in the oh, morning. don't or... talk such idiotic twaddle. You've got two tens. Two tens? For a bar of chocolate. Oh, I'll have a look. Yes, there you are. Uh. Look, don't want to pry, but have I got this straight... You've been here all day long? No, of course not. 
went to see the station master. Bannister, you wouldn't believe it. He was scared to step out of his office. Man's an utter lunatic. Ah, is he? And I got fed up with messing about, so I paid a visit to the chairman of British Rail. I see. That was a waste of time as well. Man's only interested in horses. <laughs> Try to borrow fiver off me. Uh, let me see. Plain? Ah, no. Fruit and nut. <laughs> uh, um, I don't want to speak out of turn, but a few years back, Madge had this bit of a funny spell. Bannister? His blasted machine has swallowed my 20 pence. Anyway, um, we've got the address of this man. Doctor, he's really very good. I wonder if you'd I've like... I've been robbed! Difficult bloody BR! Yes, well, forget it. Roebuck shouldn't have spoken. Uh, what about calling it a day and coming along home? Hey? Oh, no fear. I'm not giving up now. But what's June going to say? Oh, she'll just think I'm doing overtime. Anyway, she doesn't care about me. But Roebuck! Bannister, just toddle off and leave me alone, will you? Well, that's the way you feel. Good day to you, Roebuck. Driver can't get out of bed. But that's it. <laughs> the driver. <laughs> the driver. <sighs> Go and sleep it. Oh, it's you. I'm not sleeping. I'm waiting for a train. Oh, you're out of luck, mate. It's five past midnight. There's no trains till the morning. That's what I'm waiting for. A train in the morning. Want to be sure of getting a window seat, do you? Dredge, I finally cracked it. It's all the driver's fault. Uh -huh. He has an extra ten minutes in bed. And 2,000 commuters are late for work. Mind your feet. I want to sweep under there. Not anymore, though. Slipped into McNaughton's office, didn't I? Checked the files. A certain Jack Pinkney lives in Tooting. He's the guilty man. Dredge. Huh? Look what I've got in here. A brick. Precisely. First thing in the morning... I'm going round to his house, and if he doesn't get out of bed on time, by golly, I'll beat the living daylights out of him. Oh. Well, you want the 542, won't you? Front four coaches. Thank you, Dredge. You're welcome, mate. Watch out, Pinkney. Nemesis is coming. the time? It's a quarter past six. Better be off. Oh, don't turn the light on, Jack. Stay a while. You'll make me late for the depot. No, oh, ten minutes won't make any difference. <laughs> That's what you always say. Mm. Still, I uh, suppose if it's a way... No. Mm. No, that's not what I meant. Mm. Hey? Oh, mm. I've got to have a talk, Jack. Oh. <sighs> About us. Oh, what, what? The thing is, I think I want us to finish. Hey? But you, you can't. I mean, why? Well, things haven't been very satisfactory these last few months. Me coming here, snatched kisses. But, love, I, I thought you were happy. Well, you should have looked a bit closer, Jag. Anyway, that's what I've decided. You, you're not going to try and make a go of it with... <laughs> No, it's not that. I can't work this out. People don't just... Hey, look, there's somebody else, isn't there? Jack! Yes, I... there is. Now, come on, who? Jack, let go of me and I'll tell you. It started happening when I went along to the depot to meet you. You were always late. Then Ted Bentley, you know, the one who does the Hoban Viaduct run, began coming over to talk to me. 
He was nice. Ted Bentley, oh, well. Oh, let me finish. Then Ted asked me to come for a drink, and I did, once or twice. He says he loves me, Jack. Huh? He wants me to go and share his flat in Kentish Town. He says he'd marry me if I was free. So well, I... Well, I'll take his open bloody vine, and I'll... Oh, 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 Jack, what's that? Yeah, there's somebody trying to break in. Oh, Jack, get the police. Hey, oh, oh, yeah, uh, nine, hurry up. nine, nine. Hello? Uh, police, hurry. Yeah, quick, come to 16 Lovings Road. Somebody's breaking in. It's an emergency. Jack is giving way. They're coming, love, they're coming. Do something. Put the lights on. You put them on. Jack! Pinkley, I'm here. Oh, where's the blasted light switch? Get out of here, you maniac. Every day for four months, Pinkney. This is where you get paid back. Where's that switch? Blimey, he's raving. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, oh. Pinkney, what are you doing in bed with my wife? was the explanation, Bannister. The cause of it all. It was June. My own wife, Bannister. Bad luck, the Merton Examiner getting hold of it like that. What was it again? Three months mm. suspended. If I promised to see this psychiatrist. Mm. And Trembath told me you had a talk with Machin. Yes. He had me in his office. Said he thought the strain had been getting at me change of environment and all that. The upshot is they're transferring me to the Hoburn branch. Bannister, I'm to be superintendent of filing. Sorry, Roebuck. But the worst of it is, June's left me, disappeared, not even a note. And she's not with Pinkney. Cheer up, old man. Try not to think about it. I'm a broken man. Ruined. Here. Concentrate on your crossword. She's gone, Bannister. And I'll never know where. British Rail regret to announce that the 807 to Hoban Viaduct is running ten minutes late. Thank you. Oh, damn. train came down the track and she blew the runaway train came down the track and she blew the runaway train came down the track her whistle wide and her throttle black and she blew martin reed played roebuck in clockwork by colin martyr bannister polly's gone down with some sort of a bug was john church mcnaughton god man you seem to be obsessed with this blessed train. Crawford Logan. Sir Basil. That's why they stick fish features out there to keep an eye on me. Prune-faced old bag. David Garth. And Dredge. Now, may I say something? Sean Prendergast. Jack Pinkney. Yes, quarter past six. Better be off. Was played by Brian Smith. Mrs. Roebuck. Ten minutes won't make any difference. <laughs> Melinda Walker. And Miss Salmon. Oh! Natasha Pine. Clockwork was directed by Bert Cools. Thank you. The runaway train went over the hill and she blew. The runaway train went over the hill and she blew. The runaway train went over the hill and the last we heard she was going still and she blew. Ooh. Ooh. 